Well, many political analysts say that African-American voter turnout is the key to the Democrats keeping control of the U.S. Senate. But some Republican-controlled state legislatures have enacted measures that could reduce African-American turnout. Some say the GOP is unabashedly trying to suppress the black vote. Well, in the book Black Ball, The Black Vote in U.S. Democracy, Daryl Pinckney examines a century and a half of participation by blacks in American electoral politics. Daryl is a writer and essayist and playwright as well, and he's contributed to several leading publications, including The New Yorker and currently teaches at Columbia University, and he's here in our New York studios. Welcome to Arise America. Thank you very much. So good to meet you. Congratulations on this book. You're very kind. And this is where I want to start, I think, Daryl, is how far back did the recent Supreme Court ruling striking down significant portion of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. How far did that set us back? I think that uh, it's very discouraging, uh, especially in places like Texas where people imagine it's not hard to get voter ID, but it is for many people. And uh, in Ohio, uh, the end of weekend voting or early voting really affects the black vote uh, and uh, the sort of uh, working class vote as well. Uh, um, you can't sort of do the going from church to the polls. That's very important in black communities if there's no weekend voting. I'm just wondering how you feel about the assertion by some that Republicans are specifically trying to su suppress the black vote. I don't think it's only the black vote. I read something really bizarre about uh, a Republican redistricting um, so that the Hispanic vote or the Latin vote will never enter in their calculations. They don't have to try for it. So I think that the, uh, all minorities are in some ways at risk uh, in the current political culture. Of uh, course, as is always the case, voter turnout is what is so important. It's what's going to be key, particularly for the Democrats coming up in this midterm election. Yes. However, the, the, uh, the nuances within the African-American uh, demographic has changed in the last 50 or 60 years. Can you talk about how the demographic itself has changed? Well, for the first time in U.S. history, more poor people live in the suburbs than in the cities. And yet um, black people are still concentrated in metropolitan areas. And so it's easy to contain that vote or draw that district so that the, their numbers have uh, less impact on outlying areas. And so we're getting a real urban uh, rural split uh, in the American voting patterns. And, and I was going to ask you about that, Daryl. Are you seeing uh, more or less apathy? I'm not sure that's the most direct way to ask the question, but are you seeing black folk as a community being galvanized to go out and vote and participate in the civic process? That's a difficult question to answer, and it may go community by community. The reason Ferguson is still in the news is that people wouldn't leave the streets. I spoke to people who were there recently, and they feel that in some ways the uh, troubles there have uh, in some ways uh, galvanized the population and made them interested in the electoral process because the only way you can make uh, police and other officials accountable is to be on these cities' councils and these boards that appoint them in the first place. Yeah, one of the productive things that has come out of that uh, process is this big uh, voter registration effort there yes. uh, in the Ferguson in the, New in the St. Louis area. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this midterm election coming up. There's been so much talk about many Democratic candidates distancing themselves from Barack Obama uh, going into this election, thinking that he would be a drag on their on their candidacy. What do you say about I that? I disagree. He's the most glamorous political figure in the world, uh, a great speaker. And the election is really about his, the last days of his term and uh, getting us out of this uh, really boring gridlock uh, with Congress. Uh, we want to be grown-ups as citizens and not have this kind of uh, useless and exhausting uh, bickering that doesn't do anything but obstruct, which is what they want. I read in, in the, the notes as I prepared for this segment that you said, uh, you know, it was Al Gore who made a mistake by not embracing Bill Clinton, thinking that he would be a detriment. Absolutely. I think that there's a sort of gap between the reported country and the real country and what people think. And uh, Americans are looking for a chance to express um, what they feel. And I think that uh, 
the vote is an important way and we should go back to that. Martin Luther King warned us a long time ago, it's not just white supremacy that keeps us from voting, but our own sort of apathy and intimidation and inhibition. All right. And he says it's political suicide not to vote. And indeed, I'm gonna put you on the spot before I let you go. What's your prediction about what will happen, particularly in the Senate with this midterm election? I think that the Democrats will hold the Senate and I think that the women's vote is increasingly important. Uh, as we move toward 2016, and it's out there already. All right, Daryl Pinkney, so nice to talk to you. Very, very nice, nice to, meet to be you. here. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And you're watching Arise America.